we just got to the car, but I wanted to officially introduce you guys to the first moving vlog. We're so excited! Hell yeah, welcome um, to yeah. So basically, funny story actually, we've been kind of keeping this on the date, like I haven't mentioned that we've been looking to find a new place on the vlogs or anything. We weren't really looking that hard. Yeah, we weren't really looking. Like, <laughs> I'd say for the past few months, like every now and then we'd jump on and have a look and see if we could find like something that we place. loved. Like we were only gonna move from this place because, um, you know, we've been in this place now for two years, like we styled it and it was like, I loved this part, the apartment that we're currently in. So, I didn't want to move unless I found something that was like amazing. See more space. Yeah, we're kind of starting to like grow out of this current apartment. Um, but we found one place actually, which we were so excited about. We applied for and um, we thought we were going to get it. And then <laughs> that morning they called us and said like, unfortunately we didn't get it because um, there was a, another like older married couple that also like applied for it and we are both very young so like on application it yeah. doesn't look the best. They're like these girls are going to ruin the apartment yes. and party every weekend. Yes. And they like, probably can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it does like, I mean like on paper like, I don't know, it just like doesn't look the best. So they gave it to the older couple which is like so understandable. I feel like if I owned a rental property yeah. too, yeah, I'd probably do that. <laughs> not to yeah. Um, but anyway, so that morning i was like literally so sad i was really sad that morning that we didn't get the place that we really like wanted and it was perfect well i thought it was perfect at the time yeah and then that afternoon i was like oh, i'm really sad i just like want to have a look at this, if there's anything else on the website so i found this other place and i don't know how i missed it the first time i think i went to a different search engine we never really looked at that suburb either no it was like it's so nice i don't know how we did yeah i to. don't know so this place came up and we literally were calling the real estate agent like seeing if we could get in early because there was an inspection the next day. He replied and said we could, um, I'll keep talking, I'm going to keep telling the story. So he replied and like let us go and inspect it early in the afternoon and we literally applied that night and we got approved literally that night too. Yeah, so it was literally like a roller coaster of emotions that day. But um, yeah, it was literally the second place that we actually got was so much better than the first one. And I just feel like that was that's really weird. Like, I'm so glad we got this. It's like one. fate. Yes. Um, but anyway, so yeah, now we're moving into a new place. I'm so excited. So we're gonna be doing an empty apartment tour. Obviously, Woo! all the moving Woo! vlogs, interior styling. We're literally selling like all of our furniture and re-furnishing the next the new places because I feel like the vibe is like a little bit different. Our Facebook marketplace is popping. Yeah, we've been literally <laughs> selling everything. Like, the couch, what else has gone? All the bar stools, bar my stools, bed, my bedside table. Your like, desk it's... just sold. Oh, did it? So I'm really excited for this like next chapter. I feel like it's gonna be so good. I can't wait to show you guys the apartment. If you haven't already watched my Insta stories, I haven't really given too much away. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a full empty apartment tour. So yeah. Um, right now we are heading to a furniture showroom where I think we're gonna get our couch and my bed made. I'm really excited for that. I can't wait to show you guys like the idea of what I'm getting done. Guys, this is my current outfit living my absolute best life um but yeah basically it's so echoey in here now but this is what the apartment's looking like and i just wanted to give you guys a quick update um yeah so we went to the showroom and i think i found the couch that i think we're gonna get and i'm also getting my bed custom made too so when that's all confirmed though i will like let you guys know but you got like a little sneak peek um it's not confirmed that i'm going with that bed um that couch yet but i think so, so you guys will obviously see whatever we do decide to do. Um, but yeah, it was really exciting to grow, like start looking at furniture. That's like the first real shot we've gone to so far. Um, Cause as you guys can see, we're clearly entirely redecorating. Um, I literally can't wait to show you guys the place. Um, we don't move for about a week and a half to two weeks. Um, so yeah, right now we're just gonna start the moving process though. Um, but anyway, so yeah, pretty much we've sold the couch, we sold um, the TV console, what else? I think my desk has sold too, just because I have to get one that's like a little bit more narrow for the loft space. Like I kind of want one with like a really slim desk that just has enough room for like my laptop and a few things just so I have enough room up in the loft. You guys will know more like when I show you. Um, we sold all the bar stools and then... 
if you come into my room, my bed is also gone and my bedside table. So this is what I'm literally going to be sleeping on for the next um, two weeks. I am meant to be going home though to Noosa to see my family for like the first time in literally six months. Um, but I think the borders are going to shut before then. So I don't think I'm even going to be able to get back to see my family. Um, which sucks because then I probably won't even see them. I don't even know, like till September. Literally like a whole year without seeing my family, which is really annoying. But, you know, everyone's healthy. So I guess I just have to be grateful for that. But yeah, it's really frustrating that I can't see them, but it's fine. Um, I'm not complaining. Uh, anyways, we got... Um, we did get, also it's like really pink. I think it's like the sunset. It's like, um, like 5 p.m. now, so sun's starting to set. But we picked up a whole bunch of like the packing, um, boxes. These are really good to put clothing in. Obviously, we're going to get some boxes. I can't take myself seriously. Look at what I'm wearing right now. Sydney's really cold today. <laughs> Anyways, please just ignore me. But, yeah, we got some boxes because, I'm um, not boxes, what are these called? Bags. Um, because they're really good just to, like, put all your clothing and stuff in. Obviously, we will get boxes at some point to put, like, the fragiles and, um, things that probably need to kind of have some form of, like, structure. But for clothing, these boxes are really, really good. So, yeah, I'm going to start working on this over the next few That little intro that you guys just saw, we have started packing um, again today. I think this is our second like full day of packing. Well, not full day. We've got um, <laughs> we've got Caitlin's birthday lunch this afternoon at 2 p.m. So it's about like 11 a.m. right now. Ignore my hands. Um, but yeah, we've just been doing some more packing. I don't know when was the last update I gave you guys, but pretty much everything has sold, and I took down all of the wool art um we've just got we're taking across the outside table still for now we will eventually replace this at the new place but just until we get like set up we need somewhere to sit we are selling those outside chairs um i'm selling this desk i think i'm gonna keep my desk chair though um selling the rug selling the coffee table i'm also packing because i actually am going home on tuesday for the first time to see my family in literally forever this is the updates here. So I think you guys have seen this, but I just basically took down all of the other wall art that was in my room. And unfortunately it did take off a little bit of paint on the wall, which is not ideal. So we're gonna have to fix that at some point. I'm also selling my lamp just because it doesn't match like the new aesthetic of my new room. Mattress is coming with me. Um, and I think that's about it. Really, we're going to keep the TV, but I think I'm going to try and find a bigger TV eventually just because this one's quite small and I feel like in the loft, because it is such a big space, you guys will see soon, um, I feel like you need like a really big TV to just take up a little bit of like the white space on the back wall. Plant is also still coming with us. I started clearing out my, my um, I started clearing out the like back um, storage here. So as you guys can see, there's not that many shoes left. Um... I should actually put these all the way too. I just haven't packed for Noosa um, to go back and see my family. So I don't know what I was going to wear. So I just left a few of my faves out just in case. I'm also going to take down these paintings right now too. We're just reconnecting the speakers. Um, but I'll show you guys like a little montage of me trying to attempt to take this down without taking paint off the wall again. <laughs> Just took down the paintings with not taking any paint off the thing like oh my god it made me bleed when I pulled the thing off that like fell down like whacked my fingers so hard and of course my camera is not gonna focus to show you guys that's so cool ow that actually like whacked my fingers so hard when like these things like fell when you pull them off you pull them down like that and they like snap off <laughs> Okay, so a bit of an update here. I've also 
done a little bit of packing as I've been going along, but I have been working on my wardrobe. So this is what we've got so far. So these are all like my coats and blazers. And then in here we've got like hoodies and more like wintry stuff. In this one, we've got like more of our linen and pillows. And I'll show you guys what my room is currently looking like. So I just worked through these two sections here. Pretty much took out all my hoodies. I kept one for when I get back from the coast so i have like something just to put on if i need to um and then i've left like all of my t-shirts so i'm going to put that in a new bag and then over this side we have all of my blazers and stuff pretty much gone a few sneakers left as well um and then i still have to do this side as well so i think like i'll do a tops bag with like all of these tops and then all of these tops too and then i also have to work through this side as well which is my dresses and i'm going to do a massive massive color of all of this like i just feel like um there's so many pieces in here that i probably haven't worn for ages and i really want to be like ruthless in the new place and just have like staple pieces that i really really love um and then yes get rid of the rest to a better home because i feel like i just don't wear a lot of these items enough so. good morning guys it is obviously the next day right now about 9 a.m i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm very hungover today um kaylin's birthday like breezy brunch was yesterday um and i was in bed by like 8 p.m but i'm so, so hungover anyways perks of getting older but i wanted to give you guys a little apartment update so this is what the apartment oh god this is what the apartment is currently <laughs> Looking like Kaylin started taking apart her bed um, and got halfway through and <laughs> was like, no, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. So she slept in the living um, room last night. I've done a little bit more packing for visiting my family and friends this weekend. And this is how many boxes, well, actually bags of stuff I have done. This is literally just all my stuff so far. Um, and yeah, I feel like we're really making progress. So I think I showed you guys this yesterday, but like all of these have been pretty much cleared out. Um, and I started on my dresses. So I've done like halfway through all of my dresses and I've actually been culling a lot of them. Those are also more shoes all down in those tugs. Um, but yeah, I've been culling a lot of my dresses, which is really good. I still have to do all my denim. I'm definitely making progress today. I have to shoot some content. I'm going to go around and post some of my Depop orders and stuff like that. Um... But anyways, yeah, today I have to go get ready because I'm doing some errands, as I said, dropping off my Depop orders. I have to go into my new agency. Oh my god, I don't even think I've spoken about that yet. But I actually changed agencies. I've been with Max Connectors with, for two years now and I had the best time. Like, I actually loved my old agency. They're so amazing and the whole team is so great. Um, but yeah, I signed to a new agency, which is really exciting. I just felt like it was time for a fresh start, new beginnings, exciting times. Um... And yeah, it's been going really, really well. So I'm super happy. If you guys watch my vlogs, you may have uh, recognized the name Komodo. So I've actually been on a few different um, influencer trips with the company before. We are Komodo. They're amazing. There's so much to do when you move apartments. And I feel like I haven't moved in so long. Like it's literally been over two years since I moved last. So I feel like, yeah, wow. I haven't done this in ages. All right, everyone. A bit of an update here. So I've been home for a few hours now. It's like 5.30 p.m. I've been out with Isabel all day today. We had a really fun day. Um, but now, yeah, I've been doing just on my laptop and I've started doing some more packing. I was meant to get boxes today, but I didn't end up having time to. Kayla and I are going to go get boxes tomorrow morning after the gym, like first thing in the morning so we can start doing like the kitchen and stuff. Um, we do have like a little bit of an overlay when we get home before we have to be out of this apartment. We've got like a week overlay, so I'm not like too stressed, um, if we don't get everything done, but you guys know me, I like to be really organized and I like to have everything done as much as possible. So anyways, um, I just had a massive load of washing, which I have started to put away. Still working on, um, the dresses section. I also have been doing a lot more packing. It looks a lot more full now, ready for the coast. I pretty much just have to do like my toiletries. I've got all my shoes here. I've got my carry-on with like an extra handbag and some electronics. Um, in this side, I've got all my all of my clothing. I've got my new bag like secured in there so hopefully it doesn't get too damaged. Um, I use old dust bags to put like things like my undies and bras and stuff. I use them really handy tip. Keep those and they are like perfect for organizing your suitcase. For dinner tonight, also how kids my new jumper. This one is from 
White Fox Boutique. Super cute. Um, for dinner today, I think I'm going to have teriyaki salmon. <sighs> that was good. Teriyaki salmon um, with broccoli. So the next video after this one, this one, this vlog has been like packing and everything and just like letting you guys know what's happening. But obviously the next vlog after this is going to be picking up our apartment keys and i'm going to film an empty um apartment tour as well so that will come very soon and then because i think and i want to do that just because i know that for me furnishing this new place i want to do like as my dream like dream interior design so i think it'll take me a while to like get everything perfect so the official apartment tour probably won't happen for a while i know that like my custom made bed and stuff is already six weeks delivery time so yeah, I feel like it's going to take a while for everything to get set up. So the finished apartment tour probably won't be for like a few months, but I'll give you guys an empty apartment tour and you guys can see. Follow along like with the vlogs as I get new things coming in and then eventually there'll be like the official apartment tour. So for dinner is my current go-to dinner. Two pieces of teriyaki marinated salmon with some broccoli and some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to bake this for probably like 20 25 minutes and then have some rice. This is the face of someone who has been packing every second <laughs> and trying to do work and stuff. I literally look crazy. I need to tone my hair, exfoliate, do all the beauty things. So please just ignore, just ignore everything about me right now. Um, apartment update. So it is Tuesday right now, Tuesday afternoon. Um, I've had like a bit of a busy work day, so I haven't really had a lot of time to do a lot of packing. Um, my flight tomorrow isn't till lunchtime, so I'm going to have like the whole morning to finalize packing. But I want to show you guys what I've done so far. I just made a coffee actually because, you know, I feel like I need one. The kitchen behind me is so empty, if you guys can see. Literally everything is like been moved. <laughs> we went and got boxes this morning after the gym, and I have been doing... A little bit of packing in the boxes so we've got kitchen we have more kitchen um shallow fragile stuff so whoever like whenever we take this we just have to have this on our lap obviously but it's got like all our glass candles and just like um random things and then in here this one is electronics so it's like living room the printer and the xbox a few more here we've got 10 boxes i honestly think we'll probably need more though we have the sticky tape. I've been on a roll this morning. So this is what the kitchen is currently looking like. It honestly looks so different now, like without all of the decorations. The one thing I didn't like about this apartment is how gray everything is. Like if you guys can see, it's all very like dark. And I feel like when we decorated it, we tried to brighten it up a little bit with like um, the wooden accents and like greenery and stuff. But right now it just looks really great. In the kitchen, I cleared this out now, please. This is like so dirty in here we haven't cleaned this yet um this is where all like our saucepans and like cooking stuff was so obviously that needs a clean i've left out the toaster and the coffee machine just because we might still use that well i'll probably like use that for breakfast tomorrow so um i'm not gonna pack that just yet these all of my clothes and shoes so far i have one more in here to go I'll show you guys in here. My room's pretty much done. That's just like John's stuff, my mattress, and my mirror that I'm taking. Um, in here, I've got one more to go, and I've got to do all my tops, and uh, I've cleared that out. I've got to do shorts and my longer pants, and then like all my undies and stuff and activewear. A few more tops up here. This side is empty. I took out all my dresses. I have more shoes down here. I'm definitely going to need more boxes. Um, and yeah, and I still need to do like all my jeans and all up here. I'm taking these with us because I think we'll probably put these in the loft, these, um, racks for my work and we'll keep all the coat hangers. I still need to pack all these shoes. I was going to sell them, but I think I'll just bring them. And then we are also selling this. Good morning everyone. It's obviously the next day. I am in my bathroom right now. I just made a coffee and I've been un 
packing my wardrobe a little bit more i've started on the tops i just wanted to say hello this is what my life looks like oh my god the lighting in here is like not cute at all it's like so dark but um and you're really high but basically i'm heading home today like i've got my flight home so this morning's like my last time to really pack before we get home and then like i literally land on monday today's when no yeah today's wednesday and i get the keys on the afternoon that i get back so obviously i haven't finished packing but we have like a whole week overlap i think i mentioned this but yeah um but i think i'm gonna end this first so when i get back there i'm gonna start a second vlog the second moving vlog um and show you guys like getting the keys and you'll get to see the first snippet of their new place oh my god oh i still i don't know if i was like it's honestly a dream come true this new place it's so stunning i did not i don't even know how we got so lucky to find this like i've never seen anything like it really like I don't know, I feel like when you guys see it, you'll be like, wow, that's like so your vibe. Like, it's literally just like my dream apartment. It's so stunning. It's like very New York loft vibe. Um, two YouTubers, I'm getting so many DMs about it. Two other YouTubers that are quite popular in Australia used to live in the same building too. Um, so if you guys recognize the building, that's probably why. I don't think it's the same apartment. Everyone's saying it's the same apartment, but I don't think it is. I think there's just like a few that are like the same in the building so yeah i don't think it's the same apartment but i yeah i think it's the same building as like two other popular youtubers i'm not gonna say who just in case anyone knows like where they live <laughs> i don't know i'm just like privacy riff like freaks me out a little bit after my whole um new york stalker experience so if you guys do know whose apartment like building this is maybe like just don't comment it um I don't know, I, I, I'm sure like though they wouldn't have said where they lived when they moved, but um, just for like privacy reasons, I don't like talking about it, and if you guys do know whose old apartment it, building it was, um, maybe just like keep that to yourself if you can, just in case anyone did know where they live. I've finished doing, sh I need to put these shorts in that are next to you. Oh, um, okay. Let's like cull some of these. Alright. I just have like active wear now and I have so many coat hangers. I don't know what the best way to pack coat hangers is. I've also put my coffee. I don't know what the best way to pack coat hangers is. I'm sure there's like a brilliant hack to do. Maybe I should get on Pinterest or something. Okay, I just packed all my active wear. Guys, I also have these stickers on the side of my wardrobe look how cute these polaroids stickers did i say stickers i meant polaroids these are kaylin and me and me i can't remember when this was i should have done like a date oh hi i know i've got my vlog on <laughs> i'm just in here like oh my god i feel so like nostalgic leaving this <laughs> start talking to yourself okay no what am i doing i think i'm gonna use this old celine um like dust bag it's massive look at the size of this that i got like my tote bag for and maybe i'll like put i think i'll put some of my smaller bags in here just to keep them protected okay everyone this is the update still need to do these drawers but I am pretty much done both of these sides. I moved the bags out. I put all of the coat hangers in here with like a few pairs of jeans as well. I finished this side. Oh wait, there's still something up there. This can be donated. It has been a little while guys. I've obviously showered, got dressed. But I wanted to show you guys the final like overview. I need to do a quick vacuum actually because there's a bit of stuff everywhere. But... My wardrobe is completely done except for the shelves and upstairs, but I've run out of um, boxes and bags. Like there's still a few boxes left over there, but that needs to be used for other things. So when I get back, I'm going to have to buy some more boxes just to finish off the wardrobe, but it's pretty much done. I'm obviously, well, actually, I don't know. I'm sure I can find somewhere to put that mirror in the new place. So I'm probably going to bring that mirror and my 
big mirror in here for now. I'm not sure if they will stay for a really long time or not. We'll see how like the interior styling goes, but yeah, it's gonna come along for now. This is a bunch of beauty products that I think I'm gonna take to the F45 trainers. I'm like obsessed with all of my F45 trainers and, oh, actually I haven't mentioned this. Um, let me, I actually haven't mentioned this, but I think in the new place because we are quite far away from where I used to train, um, Bit of an update here everyone. So this is Future Maddie back on my vlog camera again. So the last clip you guys saw was me in my apartment getting ready to finish packing before heading to the airport. And I don't know if I like got the, like, the footage of me getting the text, but basically I'm home now. It's actually been a week. So it's been like a week since that last clip was taken. And basically what happened was when I was like vlogging, I got a text from Jetstar saying that my boarding was about to begin. And basically what had happened is Jetstar had pushed my flight forward like two hours and just didn't tell me. Um, so I actually ended up missing that flight. I literally stopped recording through, literally stopped recording, grabbed my bag and like went to the airport straight away. Um, but yeah, basically I missed that flight. I didn't get refunded and I had to book another flight to Brisbane because all of the other ones to the Sunshine Coast were unavailable. Um, would not recommend flying with Jetstar. Like if you guys are booking any flights, do not book with Jetstar. It's literally the worst customer service I've ever experienced. And my parents had to like drive to Brisbane and come pick me up, which is like two hours away from where I live. And they had like work meetings on. So yeah, shout out to you, Jetstar. It's been a week now. I just got home from having a week with my family in Noosa. It was so good seeing all of them. I honestly had the best time. Um, I didn't vlog anything just because I really wanted to. Well, I only had like five days to see everyone. Like I saw all my best friends, and then I saw all my family, obviously, and then I saw all of the girls in Brisbane. So it was like very like rushed. Um, so I just didn't want to vlog just so I had time to like actually be present and be with everyone and not worry about vlogging. Today is Monday the 27th. I'm moving officially today. I'm waiting for John to land from the airport because we're going to go pick up the keys to the new place. Um, and I'm going to start moving vlog number two. So today we're just basically going to pick up the key and most of the move will probably honestly be happening tomorrow, like when the removal has come. But for the rest of this vlog, we're just going to be finishing packing up this apartment tonight. So we were... We did have plans to move um, everything tonight, but Caitlin's flight actually doesn't get in until um, quite late. It got delayed and ch it got changed, so things kind of have to be reshuffled. So now, like, the main move is happening tomorrow. So we're still going to sleep here tonight, and then it'll be our first night in a new place tomorrow. While I wait for John to get home, I'm just going to keep working on the kitchen pantry and start packing all of the food. update here on the moving vlog so it is now monday night i have been finishing packing up before the movers come early tomorrow pretty much every single thing is done um the only thing that i haven't quite finished yet is my bathroom but i finished this whole side um and i've been putting it into this box here and i have to do the rest of this side in the morning so i'm gonna get up at like 6 a.m and finish this before they come but i wanted to end off this moving vlog here the first moving vlog um packing up because it's pretty much done hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first video in this series i can't wait for you guys to see the next um empty apartment tour so you can get a sneak peek of where we're moving to and make sure you guys follow me on my stories as well because i post pretty much every single day and i'll give you guys lots of apartment updates um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video